everyone loves to eat warm pancakes covered with butter and syrup in the morning. But did you know that there is actually a holiday where people celebrate and eat pancakes with their families and friends? It is a tradition that started many years ago in England. Pancake Day is celebrated on Shrove Tuesday, which is the day before Lent. Lent is a Christian holiday that was established in the 4th century as 40 days and is generally a period of fasting or other forms of self-denial. People generally eat a, lot, eat a lot and have fun the day before Lent begins. Shrove Tuesday is often referred to as Pancake Day because, it's fat, because fats, which were generally prohibited during Lent, had to be used up. People would take the eggs and dairy products that they had left in their kitchens and use them to make delicious pancakes. And that is why we have Pancake Day. My favourite flavour of a pancake is sugar and lemon. Lent is a period of 40 days which comes before Easter. Beginning on Ash Wednesday, Lent is a season of reflection and preparation for the celebrations of Easter. By observing the 40 days of Lent, Christians replicate Jesus Christ's sacrifice and withdrawal into the desert for 40 days. Lent is marked by fasting both from food and festivities. Lent recalls the events leading up to and including Jesus' crucifixion by Rome. This is, this is believed to have taken place in Rome, occupied Jerusalem. The Christian churches that observe Lent in the 21st century use it as a time of prayer and penance. Only a small number of people today fast for the whole of Lent, although some maintain the practice of Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. It is more common these days for believers to surrender and a particular thing, such as a favourite food. Jesus, he carried his cross through Jerusalem and the uh, Romans nailed him on the cross on top of Calvary Hill and uh, beside him were two other criminals and one of them said to Jesus, uh, why don't you get down and save us? And one of the other criminals said, um, you ha this man hasn't done anything wrong but we have. Jesus turned to the criminal that said that and Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. Well, now I know for sure why it's called Good Friday. However, there have been some good ideas over the years. The celebration of Good Friday has been around for centuries. The day gradually became a day of fasting for the anniversary of the death of Christ. It is thought to be called Good Friday from the saying God Friday. God has been also over time to be good. This can be translated from Old English as holy. For example, saying goodbye came from the phrase God be with you. Good Friday could have come from Jerusalem in the 7th or 8th century. I always thought the Good Friday was called good because it was the day Jesus died on the cross. This is a sad occasion, but it is good because if Jesus didn't die for us, we wouldn't be forgiven our sins. To me, chocolate. <laughs> I said that wrong. Easter. Easter means to me Easter, um, Easter eggs, um, spending the day with family, and little baby chicks. <laughs> okay, thanks. Easter means to me, it's one is the chocolate, family, um, it's probably about it to be honest. Easter means the resurrection of Jesus Christ, new life, lovely time of year. Right, what does Easter mean to you? Not much, chocolate. Easter is a time of new life when lambs are born, buds appear on trees and daffodils come out of the ground. Easter is when the weather gets warmer and the days get longer. Easter is when Jesus died on the cross for us and it is the end of Lent. Easter to me is uh, when, basically, going back to school, it's when Jesus uh, died for all of our sins on, I think it was Good Friday, and then on Easter Sunday he came back or went up to heaven or something, basically. Easter is, is when Jesus died on the cross and wanted to give us our life forever. Easter is all about Jesus and um, with a little bit of an Easter egg hunt thrown in. Easter is when Jesus died to show how much he loves us. 